So we're doing some more hanging out this morning. Um, this has been going on for like 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20. So the thing is, is I don't know, I can't tell if Nola wants me to get them out of the room, but in which case I have to close the door because they'll just come right back in or if she's fine with it. Welcome to year five of daily vlogging. <laughs> pancakes this morning and I am about to hop on my laptop great it never um, never closed down yesterday like it was supposed to um, I was trying to shut down shut it down like I'm supposed to and it didn't want to do it so I might have to force quit it I don't know why it's not responding um, anyway what I was saying is I was heading on here because I have things that I meant to do yesterday that I never did. And so thankfully there's only two big things that I didn't do yesterday that I didn't do today or that I'm going to do today. But it's not like they were due yesterday or today, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm going to force quit my laptop because I don't know what the heck is wrong with it. Hi. I have a rocket in here with me. He, Tina has been put away somewhere. I don't exactly know where. I think he's in Ashlyn's room. Um, Ashlyn, I think, is at rehearsal. Um, and this one was very lonely. Even, no, you don't get the apple. No. Um, he was very lonely. And so I was like, Nola, are you cool if I let him in? And so let him in. He has been, he and Nola did fine. And Nola's obviously fine with him in here because now she's out exploring because she can because the dogs are put away. Um... At least I'm pretty, well, I know they are, because Tina would have come out and been like, hello, um, but she's not. Um, so, yeah. And I also got the email confirmation with my fitting details for tomorrow, which is great. I plan to get there 30 minutes early because there's a specific place I have to park, and there is a specific place that I have to go on the site, and so I want to make sure that I know where that is. Um, they also asked me to bring any 1930s, 1940s clothes that, like, ish that I had so I don't have many but I am bringing some things that are from the costume closet that I brought so who knows maybe they'll come in handy I don't know um but yeah Rocket's very thirsty he's drinking a lot of water I see Nola is going into the hallway so I'm not gonna follow her because she knows where I am and the door's open so she can come back in if she wants but I'll let her explore a little bit I don't know where Keanu is, so Keanu might wake up and be like, oh my gosh. So Ashlyn confirmed with me the dogs are in her room, so now I just have the door open. Uh, Rocket's back out there. Nola's out there exploring somewhere, um, but it seems to be going really well. I haven't heard any hisses or anything like that, and Nola hasn't come running back in going, ah. Um, so I think it's actually helpful because she knows exactly where I am and she knows where the room is so she can come back here if she wants she can explore if she wants so we're definitely making great progress I'm feeling more and more confident that we will actually be able to get it to where whether it be she can go around all of the time if she's able you know comfortable with the dogs or if she can only be out when the dogs are put away I think we're making good progress at least with the cats so I ended up closing the door because Keon uh, Keanu Rocket and Nola um, had a little of a moment just because Nola was inside the little house thing and Rocket was batting at her and she was batting back and she just got stressed. So I closed the door again and now she's sleeping. Um, so, but overall, went very, very well. Um, just seems to be that little house thing always gets them because it's like if someone's in inside it, like I think Nola really likes that as her space. I don't think she <clears throat> is a huge fan of the others going in there. But anyway, I'm about to hop on Zoom with my friend Anderson and yeah, talk to him for a little bit. I don't know what's up with my voice, what just happened. <coughs> <clears throat> Am I good? Okay, I think I'm good. Maybe. I don't really know. It might just sound weird to me. Yeah, no, now I'm good. We're good. We're fine. I don't think my friend watches my vlogs he's great but he's late to zoom a lot <laughs> so i'm just sitting here and i'm not working on photos because i'm like i know the second i go to try to organize more photos he's gonna pop on zoom so i'm a little confused 
not gonna lie. Um, my friend and I agreed on 1 p.m. his time, which is 4 p.m. my time. It's 4.38 and he hasn't popped on, but I messaged him like 15 minutes, 20 minutes before and was like, or maybe it was a little bit more than that. It was like 40 minutes before, I think, or 30, 40, whatever it is. And I was like, hey, are we still good to go at one your time for my time? Do you wanna use my Zoom room or yours? And he was like, yeah, you know, you know, let's, let's try it. Cause last time we had so much trouble with, um, all the stuff, um, Zoom connection and all that. Um, and so I was, he was like, can we use yours? So I was like, yeah, sure. And then like <clears throat> 10 minutes before four, my time, I sent him the, um, the Zoom room info again and he hasn't seen that and I really can only talk until five because I have to do, thank goodness my parents mentioned it this morning, I have to do a script coverage today that I said I could have in by the end of tomorrow. So of course I don't want to do tomorrow because I have my fitting. Um, and I didn't want to message my friend again and be like, hey, are you popping on? Because like, I, I sent the message like with the Zoom thing and so that was kind of my version of checking in. I didn't want to send another one because I feel like that's obnoxious. So, I mean, I feel bad if he's going to pop in like the last 10 minutes. I'm going to be like, I'm sorry. I like I have to make sure I have enough time to do this thing. So, I'm yeah. The door is open again. Nola has not come running back inside in terror. So, I think it's going well out there. I've decided that my new tactic when I just open the door is because we know all the cats like are like fine with each other they're not gonna you know immediately attack one another so I'm just gonna chill in here so that way Nola knows where I am and she can come back in here if she wants um, but she's not like you're moving around where are you if I want like the safety of you know you meaning me like she doesn't know where I am so I just finished up my script coverage or my um, yeah my script coverage um, it was an interesting script that I read definitely not my least favorite but definitely not my favorite um, I ended up giving it a consider after one more draft. Um, so yeah, uh, the other one I did, the pilot I ended up doing, I ended up giving it a pass, which I hate doing, but ugh. Um, anyway, so yes, glad I got that done. It is currently 9.09. .09. Um, I'm going to try to head to bed around like 10.30 tonight at the latest, or at least be getting ready for bed by 10.30, so I'm sleeping by 11 because... Um, um, I have to leave for my fitting at 10.30 tomorrow, so I would like to be awake and up, I should say, um, sooner than 9. I'm still waking up at like 8.30 normally, but I lay in bed and don't do anything until like 9 or even on some days 9.30, so trying to, uh, not do that as much, um, but I think that'll get easier when, like, I don't have to worry about what cats are standing outside the door if there are any and not a you know now at least if Nola sneaks out it's not a bad thing because the dogs aren't out there and she's allowed to kind of explore when the dogs aren't out so um and hopefully we're working towards when I can have the door open like during the night so she can come in and out and then I think the other cats will too but I don't know how she'll feel about that I don't know how she'll feel about the others being in here during the night so that may which really there's no way to have her be able to come in and out, but not the others. So we'll see. Um, yeah, uh, I will say I walked into Ashlyn's room because, um, that's where Rocket was. Turns out Nola was hiding under the bed. Um, so my cat mom heart is a little concerned because I think Rocket and Goldie are both in there and Nola is. So I'm just hoping they're not cornering her, but she'll, as Ashlyn said, which it is important, establish the boundaries. She is establishing her boundaries, the others are establishing their boundaries, so it's all a part of it, I hope. I'm trying not to be overbearing and being in there, because that just makes things worse, I think. Nola's back in here. I'm a little concerned, <laughs> because she hissed at Rocket just as Rocket was, like, walking by. Granted, Rocket was close to the door, which is where Nola was trying to get, so she may have felt like, you're in my way and I'm scared of you. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping this will, I mean, and if she has to stay in here, then she'll just stay in here. Like, that's what'll happen. Um, it's not like I'm gonna move somewhere else or whatever. I mean, or like, if she gets along with, for some reason, 
Goldie fine and the dogs, then she can be out during the day. And at night she can be in here. I don't know. I always just get so paranoid. Like, it's been one day, like, from yesterday. And I'm always like, you know. <sighs> I decided to watch a little of Spies Are Forever while I finish organizing pictures from 2012. This is such a good show. I love this show, too. Alrighty. I am heading to bed. Um, I'm continuing to blade this a little bit while I upload this and things like that. But yes. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all. Bye.